The way I see what's going on right now with Ukraine versus Russia or Russia versus Ukraine, whichever way you want to um, pose it, you have to remember that everything is a trickle effect. No matter if it's happening across an ocean or two, you have to remember it's all going to trickle down to something that's going to happen to us here in the United States. Um, between the rise of um, gasoline prices, it's going to impact your pocketbook. It's going to impact our U.S.-China relations and any f- future corporation on criticals like like arms control, cybersecurity, um, energy security, counterterrorism, um, even as far as, you know, political solutions in Libya and elsewhere. I'm generally approving of President Biden. I mean, with this Russian invasion in Ukraine, I just the thought of the previous occupant of the White House running things right now. Uh, I, that's such a horrifying thought to me, especially knowing the backhanded deals he tried to do to control President Zelensky. And absolutely, we have to play a role. And watching Ukrainians defend their homeland is like brings tears to my eyes. And I think we all have to unite behind pushing Putin out of there and not giving him the signal that he can just march into other countries with democratically elected leaders and take over. We made Ukraine remove their nuclear weapons. So we have to support them one way or the other. If we're just waiting for them, for Putin to cross the NATO line uh, so that we can physically get in there with troops, shame on us. But we're the ones to blame for this mess. But I do think at the very least, uh, the United States should be opening their, their doors to refugees that are undoubtedly going to be pouring into not only our country, but other countries.